everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a healthy Shirley Temple. And that means we're going to be making our grenadine from scratch. And you know what that means? That means that it doesn't contain high fructose corn syrup or any preservatives, which is what you'll find at the store when you buy that one. So uh, this one will keep in the refrigerator for about, oh, anywhere from three to four weeks, whereas the other one will stay in your cabinet for years. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to make this delicious drink right after this. Before we go over our ingredients, I just want to mention that the grenadine that we make, you know, will be saved in the refrigerator for, you know, up to a month, let's say, and you can use it for any cocktails that call for grenadine. It's perfect for that. So if you want to make a tequila sunrise or a Bahama Mama or any other uh, cocktail that requires grenadine, it works great. And you can also use it just for drinks that are non-alcoholic as well. And you want to add just a little bit of fruity sweetness to uh, club soda, let's say. So it's very refreshing and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's go over those ingredients. So to make our grenadine syrup, we're going to need some pomegranate juice. And here I have 100% pomegranate by the company Palm and it works great. Everything's 100% juice here. This is 100% cherry juice. I got that at Trader Joe's and that works beautifully. And then we'll be adding some sugar to our syrup and we're gonna cook this down and I'll show you that in just a bit. Now to make the Shirley Temple, you know, I'm not using soda because I don't like the ingredients in that. This is gonna be a very healthy recipe. So I'm using Pellegrino water. You could also use club soda. And we're gonna flavor that with some lime and lemon. And that's it guys, simple. So let's get started with our syrup. All right, I've got my saucepan here over medium low heat and I'm gonna go ahead and pour my pomegranate juice into the pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of cherry juice to that. Next, I'm gonna add the sugar. Now it is quite a bit of sugar as I'm sure you've noticed, but there's no other artificial ingredients in this. It's just pure. And now we're gonna cook this. I'm gonna get this to come to a boil and we're gonna simmer this. And we're gonna cook this for about five to 10 minutes. We want this to to uh, cook down and get very syrupy and, th and thicker, so it'll reduce. So I've been cooking the grenadine syrup now for about 12, maybe 15 minutes. And I originally told you five to 10, but I think you really need to go 10 to 15. And you know, you want your heat up uh, medium high, you want it boiling like this. And uh, I'm just about ready to turn it off and we'll let it cool. And I'm going to try and speed up my cooling process by pouring this back into my measuring cup and then I'm going to place that into a bowl of ice water and that will cool it down and, and let me continue on here real quickly. So now we're ready to make our healthy Shirley Temple. All right, so I have a glass full of ice and I've got my Pellegrino. You can also use, like I said before, club soda. If you want a little more uh, bubbly in there, you'd want to use the club soda. But uh, today I have the Pellegrino and so that's what we're using. All right, we'll pour that in our glass. Leave a little room for our syrup. I like to put the syrup second, just so it has a chance to mix in. And you can put as much of this as you like, obviously. And I like to put some nice uh, lemon juice in there. That's our, instead of using, you know, 7-Up or even uh, ginger ale, I like to, to make my own by using the, you know, the water and the lemon and the lime. So I definitely want to get some of that in there. Now I'm going to be, or actually I did make this for my Bunko group. I have a Bunko group, uh, we meet once a month and they loved it. They really enjoyed it. They liked the fact that it was natural and not full of artificial colors and high fructose corn syrup. And several of them really so enjoyed let's it. Give this a taste. Oh, so refreshing. Oh my gosh, that is really good guys. And like I said, you can make it as sweet as you like or cut it back. So uh, guys, I hope you'll try this recipe. You know, let me know by uh, give, leaving me a comment below if you do try it or let me know what you do with your grenadine. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right up there and you'll get notified of my new videos as they come out. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.